Então, pessoal, estamos agora aqui na parte 4 de God of War Ragnarok e temos aqui umas coisinhas ainda para revistar a ilha. Portanto, vamos nessa. Vamos embora. Atreus, you are getting better. Faster. I'd even be better than you one day, huh? If you are not, I have failed. Oh. So not all dwarves can do that thing Brock and Sindri do, right? Where they just walk between realms and turn up somewhere else? Indeed, that's a rare skill. I gather one carefully cultivated by some secretive dwarven guild or other. Probably for the best. Them alone doing it is disconcerting enough. Okay. What other terrible things have Odin and Thor done? Who else? Ah, room near the Brawler, the stone giant. Aye. Mocked by Odin, murdered by Thor. Enough of this. But there's more. I do not care. War with Odin is not the answer. Yeah, I don't think we can do anything with that yet. Nothing, brother. Just... You ever have those moments where you wish you could... go back? Rewrite your own past. Make different decisions. Journey through time is more trouble than it is worth. Ah, fair point. You're speaking metaphorically, right? No. Of course you're not. Spartal fine slag? Give it here. Thank you. Go! 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 Go!
Okay, Mimir. To the blacksmiths of Svartalfheim, the creation of a weapon was a sacred thing. But Odin just wanted as many blades as he could get, as fast as he could get them. With every stolen resource and mediocre blade, the dwarves lost a bit of themselves. Whatever you need. Huh. That might be my best piece yet today. A good fit. Wear it with pride. Take care of your armor, and it'll take care of you.
dwarves survived because of you. Ah, you're not wrong there, brother. Odin would have wiped out every last dwarf in Svartalfheim. If he couldn't use their skills, no one could. The key to that watchtower door should be on this island somewhere. Fetch on the left! The ground looks weak down here, Father. That gear looks like it was free. Maybe that lift can help us get higher. It might be easier to break that ground from up there. the ground from up there? We're looking for. Now we must head to that watchtower on the shore. What 
are you not saying? I just need you to trust me. Mir, what's the deal with Odin's ravens? They can just transport him anywhere? Except for the realm between realms. Fine, Paul. Why? Harder to find, thanks to dwarven enchantments and Yggdrasil's very own nature. Hmm. Lucky us. Mimir, a little while ago you mentioned Odin's ravens. What's to stop him from using them to pop into existence and kidnap anybody he wants? Consent. The only way to travel by Odin's ravens is by your own choice. Oh, it's not so bad then. So we're going to Durlands? Makes sense. We could always explore those mining rigs later. This is the safety office? Well, the sign of hair's breadth away from a head injury up there certainly gives that impression. We're looking for Durlin. You have an appointment? Uh, no. Has anyone ever had an appointment here? <laughs> here to collect on something, pal. Think uh, parading a severed head around on your hip is gonna scare me into somehow approving Estrid's accretion proposal, eh? We are looking for a prisoner of Odin's. <laughs> He's being kept in a mine somewhere. Some friends of ours said that you could help. Where did you get... You chop her head off with that too, eh? She was my wife. Dina and I wondered where she went after our little coup here failed. Failed? Yeah, come, come. Failed. Faye is dead. Best of them all. One's left alive after pay the price. I'm afraid <clears throat> I can't help you with your little prisoner situation. But he could have answers on how to stop Odin and free Svartalfheim from the Aesir. Now, I'm not in the business of crossing the old father anymore. Wait, before you go. Take this. What is it? A fine. Hygiene code violation for improper transport of a rotting head. Uh, two demerits for speaking the All Father's given name and, uh, yeah, yeah. For fucking up my desk! A fine? Pay it at your leisure, okay?
Get out of my office. Hey there. So what about get out of my office? Don't you understand? You said her name was Diener? Oh, uh, sure. Thank you. I think. Hey, this isn't a fine. Not now. There are enemies ahead. down directions the dwarf has given us a map sort of uh you smelled him but it seems to lead to a mine beyond that mountain ah dear Derlin helped us anyway not everyone uses axes and arrows to fight
I thought I see. He's passing through. Huh. Darlin's map points to a mine. I see a mountain back on the other side of his office. Maybe we should head that way. No harm in exploring a bit. Surprised the dwarves didn't shut these rigs off themselves. One or two try. The Ein Haryar made examples of them. They killed the dwarves? Can you have convinced them not to? Aye. Yeah, that looks right.
call so meager a task done. A wee drop out of the Asgardian occupational bucket. You must live with your deeds, but do not be trouble by your brother. Oh? And why not? You were given an impossible problem. Do not blame yourself for failing to solve it. I'm sure the dwarves would feel differently. This doesn't fix things. No. But it is a start. A reminder, brother. That Spartalfheim slag we collected could be of considerable use in the hands of Brock or Sindri. The air smells a lot cleaner. That's because we shut down the rigs. There's the watchtower I spoke of. We need to get through the door on the ground floor. Can you hear that? No. Thought I heard a voice. Let's keep going, lad. Just put the key into that lock, brother. There. If you could give that drum a good loud strike. That's the voice I heard. I hoped it would have escaped by now, but we'll need to free it from its restraints. Thanks for grabbing that for us. I'll heat up the forge. What is this? A Loonbocker. I captured it many years ago. Broden. Yes. I thought it an imaginative and eye-catching way to earn his favor. It worked? That it did. This creature, you enslaved it. Aye. But why? Because I was young and stupid. And I didn't know what it was like to be chained in one place for years at a time, with nothing to occupy your mind but pain. <laughs> Right. We chained the fins too. 
If you could. <laughs> easy. Easy. That creature's hurting. But we're going to free it. But it will always be chained. You know that as well as I. Now for the other thing. There may be a way to reach it behind that Kawan, the Breed. Incoming! Above you! You're angry with me, aren't you, brother? I remember the feeling of a yoke around my neck. I would not wish it upon another. <laughs> Anything illuminating. <laughs> Another of Cavassia's poems. Fat is a good source of oil for Odin's lanterns. Oil for lanterns? Whatever anger you're feeling, whatever loathing toward me, it's nothing to what I've said to myself. <laughs> Defend, if you could. I know. <laughs> Just the tail left now. Look out! Red's neck! Behind you! Look out! The nest was hiding some sort of device.
dock from me to see. It looks like it's going to be that dock for me to see the tail. Let's get back to the boat. You never spoke of this creature. Does that surprise you? That an old man would be ashamed of the mistakes he's made. No. I thought, I'd hoped the creature would be long expired by now. But apparently the Aesir couldn't even be bothered to mercy kill it once it was no longer useful. We could kill it. No. Not when we can save it. Good. We can reach the tail from this dock. Still save this broken creature. I know what it is to be imprisoned like this. I can't just leave it. And if it is beyond saving. I don't understand. Let us continue. Down that rope should take us where we need to go. I 
I think I see something. Can you get me closer to its eye for a face-to-face, -face, brother? This creature, the mining rigs, their mistakes, Mimir. But it's Odin's fault. That's not an excuse, little one. Well, thank you for saying it. You great blubbering beast. Shoo! It's not moving. Why is it not moving? It has grown accustomed to its chains. But no. No, we can fix this. We just need to chase it off. Scare it. Something. There is no making things right. Only better than they were. the wind blowing on its face. I can feel it. May you provide some comfort. That's not enough. It seldom is. That's a big statue. Get the wall! 
Not bad. The first time someone's told me that, I suppose. Too bang, okay. Ora bem, eu acho que fizemos o suficiente por hoje. Também o tempo já está, não é? Não dava para fazer alguma coisa em 7 minutos, mas não, vamos ficar por aqui e fazemos o resto na próxima, ok? Pronto. É isso, people. Fiquem bem, mantenham-se bonitos. Falou!